slash map megabytes. Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss the next dimension that is policy management. So policy management is the process of creating, managing or maintaining policies for data and users within data hub. Now we'll move ahead with its technical parameters. So the first one is role based access control. So in role based access control, you can control the access of users and group within data hub using policies. And now we'll see how does role based access control is implemented in data hub. So now we'll go to the data hub user interface and we'll click on policies. And after that, we'll find there are a number of policies which are already created by data hub. So we'll click on new policy. And after that, we are required to give a name to this policy. So let's say demo underscore policy. And after that, you can select the type of policy you can create. So for now, let's select platform for now. And you can also add a description to this policy. And this is optional. So for now, I'm going to ignore this and I'll click on next. And then you are asked to set select a set of privileges to permit. And you can either se select one or multiple privileges. Or you can also select all privileges from here. And all the privileges will be copied to this box. And after that, you can click on next. So here you can provide access to these roles like users and groups to access the resources in Data Hub using this policy. So for now, we are going to select all users. And you can also type a name of any particular user and can select his or her name from here. So for now, I'll select all and in groups also, you can either search for a particular group or you can select all groups. And after that, you can click on save. So this is how using policies, you can grant access to the roles like users and groups with the privileges to use the resources in Data Hub. Now we are going to discuss the second parameter that is platform policies. So platform policies determine who has the platform level privileges on Data Hub platform. These privileges include managing users and groups, view analytics, managing policies themselves, etc. And now we'll see a demo where we'll create a new policy for platform in Data Hub. So we'll go to Data Hub and we'll click on new policy. And after that, we'll give a name to this policy. Let's say Data Hub platform. And after that, we'll select the type of policy as platform. And then you can give a description to this policy according to your requirement. And as it is optional, so for now I'm going to skip it and I'll click on next. And after that, we are asked to select the set of privileges to permit. So here you can multi-select these privileges or you can directly click on all privileges and all, all privileges will be copied to this box. And after that, you can click on next. So here you can either search for a particular user or you can simply click on all users and all users will be selected for this policy. And in the same way, you can again search for a particular group or you can click on all groups and then click on save. And now our policy has been saved successfully. So, so on the second page, we'll find the policy which we have created just right now. And we can see the state it is showing as active. And if we'll click on this policy, then you will get all the details about this policy like what is the state and what are the privileges assigned to this policies and you can also delete deactivate or edit this policy by clicking edit and then you will get an option to again edit the policies and now we are going to discuss the next parameter that is metadata policies metadata policies determine who can do what to which metadata entities for example who can edit data set documentation and links or who can add owners to a chart or who can add text to a dashboard and now we'll see a demo how to create metadata policies in data hub so we'll go to data hub and inside this policies page we are going to click on new policy and now we are going to give a name to this policy let's say 
demo underscore meta data. After that, we'll select policy type as metadata. And then you can also provide a description to this policy. And this is optional, so we are going to skip this and click on next. And here we are required to select the resource type. So these are the types of resources, and we are going to select data sets for now. And here we need to search for specific resources the policy should apply to. So let's say customer data set. So we have customer data set in our data hub. So we can click on this or in order to select all, we can simply click on all data set. And after that, we need to set privileges to permit. So these are the privileges which can set to permit. So you can have multi select here or simply you can click on all privileges to select all the privileges. And then you can click on next. After that, you can click here if you want this policy to be applied to the owners of metadata asset. And again here, we can search for a user name or you can simply click on all users. In the same way, you can again search for any particular group with its name or you can click on all groups and then we'll click on save. So saved, successfully saved policy. So here we can see that we have our policy created that is demo underscore metadata and the state is active right now. So we are going to click on this and we can get further details about this policy created. So these are the privileges which we have assigned to this policy and these are the asset type and we have selected all assets of data set. And now we are going to the next parameter that is data policies and data policies are not supported in data hub for now. Thanks for watching. Hashmap Megabytes.